Hey everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing great today. I have a fun little craft with me, but I wanted to share a few things that's headed to the Etsy shop <clears throat> before I get started. Um, I do have some new little craft gusseted bags put in there. These are really fun. They sound great. Um, these are really fun to alter and slip your little journals in. I hope to get some of these made with a little journal on the inside. So those are really, really fun little bags there. And I love the way they crinkle. So um, anyway, there's some new little, um, I think I just called them gusseted bags, uh, craft bags. Um, and then I got some new garment tags. These are, I've... I had uh, to uh, restock my alteration tags. I was getting low. And so I ordered some alterations tags. And then also I wanted to try these little tags here. And I just love them. They're a nice change from the alterations tags. And I've got these listed just as garment tags, string garment tags. But those are so cute. And of course they got the perforation too. But they just got a little different font on them. And they don't say alterations, you know. So, anyway, they're just really, really cute. So, I put some of those in the shop. Those just are a nice change. And then I got a couple of face masks put in there. Uh, my sister made these. I have some in this cheetah print, and then I have some in the simplicity print. And I wanted to show you. It has a nice wire uh, in the top for you to bend around your nose. It's just a nice thin wire and then opened up when you put it on it's about a, I believe this was about a five that it opens up to and it's about eight by five. And then on the back side down here where your chin is kind of um, she has a little pocket for you to place your filter in. Now I um, actually used a, um, a coffee filter and cut it down and slipped it in there. Just slipped it in the, you know, the little hole here and spread it out. But uh, instead of this being, this little slit being right where your nose and your mouth is, she wanted to put it down towards your chin so that you didn't have that opening there where your mouth and your nose was so anyway just wanted to share it's got like the eighth inch elastic there that will go around your ears just a nice little fun um, face mask so I wanted to share those those are in there and I wanted to do a little this little craft with me today um, I have got these uh, especially these I've been wanting to play with these these are from the uh, your creative studio uh, unboxing that I did just uh, like a week ago and so I, I've been wanting to use those and I wanted to do a little craft with me using some of the products um, uh, anyway let's just um, get started with that so I had these and I do have a video coming out it's already made I just don't have it posted to YouTube uh, and completely uh, ready there yet but uh, with mail art um, these little washi stickers like this are so great for mail art so that video will be coming out here before long uh, as soon as I can get it uh, finished up and get it posted to YouTube but it's um, using some of these little washies and I have some that I actually used from the previous boxes that I have gotten before from Amanda so um, anyway so there's there will be some fun mail art I'll show you how I use those washies for that and then I just kinda wanted to do a few projects here using um, some of these um, little pieces that's come out of the uh, the uh, box so First of all, I thought it would be fun. I was going to actually put these in kind of like a collage, but they're just so pretty and they're so light and they're just so pretty uh, to use for, for notes that I thought I might want to keep it to use as notes. So, what I thought I would do is just cover 
cover my uh, book up and do it that way. So I know that might be a little fun. So um, that's one project, and I I think I might be stitching around these. I didn't do that, but no, I don't think I will. I did stitch around the thing. So let's just go ahead and jump in and, and do this. So what I'm going to do, oops, where is my Fabri-Tac? Ah, hiding over here to the side. So let's just go ahead and let me get me a... Oh, a little uh, um, napkin there to get my glue top cleaned off with. So what I want to do is I'm going to just, cu I just cut a piece big enough for this front. And I went ahead and inked up the... Uh, sides there. Let's see, I don't think that's the piece. I think this has to go on the front. I made the front one a little longer because I was actually going to have it go to the back side. I want it to kind of, yeah, I want it to kind of fold over the top like so, so that isn't showing. So let's go ahead and, oh, and I found me something at the Dollar Tree. I'll have to share with you all I found me, oh, actually I found me a couple of things, but look at this, was in the makeup, and uh, I thought wouldn't that make a cute little like brayer for your glue, it's like supposed to be a ceramic face, something for your face, but uh, anyway, how cool is that, so that was a fun find, and I'll show you something else I found while, while I'm kind of just doing a craft with me in a chit chat anyway. Um, I've already pulled these off, but I'll have to show you. The Dollar Tree has these, um, they're like a 3D sticker, and I won't, I won't be using those, I don't think. And I've already went ahead and pulled these off. But, uh, these were actually stuck... To make like a uh, a uh, 3D, these were actually on here, you know, like this. This is how they came on there. They were just stuck. I don't know if you can see this. They were just stuck on there like that. They made like a, you know, like a fun little 3D sticker is what they did. And so what I did is I just went in and I just pulled these off. So that I could use these little acetate. And if you'll kind of just bend them back, they'll lay flat and you can go. I cut actually the little excess off around them though um, when I uh, tried to use them in a project. But they work really great. So anyway, if, if you want some um, fun little cheap butterflies, then... Uh, my Dollar Tree is so far behind every other Dollar Tree that um, I just found these. So, um, they should have them in most places, I would think. But if you wanted to use the stickers, I mean, I think these stickers will just pull off. And then you have stickers as well if you, if you use the stickers. So, anyway, just a fun little, fun little Dollar Tree find. Okay, so now back to my project. I just thought I'd kind of share that. And I'm going to go ahead and and uh, get that glued to my top. Let me see, I'm not sure. Do I want... No, nope, I want that down. Okay, I wasn't sure which way I wanted that. So I'm just gonna, but I did like the little, uh, the little ceramic thing. That's the first thing I thought of was like a little brayer. Wouldn't that be neat for a little brayer? Because most of the brayers are a big long, and when you've got just a little project, how cool is that? So anyway, I thought that to be fun. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. 
and I think I'm a little longer than I need to be so I'm going to push that down I'll just cut off the bottom when I when I get it put on and this uh, paper here I'm actually working on a project that is turning out great um, I might give you a sneak peek but uh, this is Artie Mays's uh, Butterfly, butterflies in blue, I think is what it's called. I think that's what it's called. Butterflies in blues or blue butterflies or something like that. I'd have to look it up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take and cut this off. Oops. I decided to be fun to use these as notes. These are really pretty. And of course they tear apart. You know, they come off, they're perforated and you can just tear them apart. Okay, so there is my little little covered up book. This will look nice just sitting on the sitting on the uh, table, so and then I wanted to go ahead and add that and I wasn't sure if I want to put a little cheesecloth or something like that on there not sure I have a little bit of I don't want to overdo it so much because it's just a little thing that I will be using so let's just cut a little cheesecloth here I haven't been using a whole lot of cheesecloth lately like I usually do I've been kind of okay so my battery died on me so I'm not sure where it cut off at by the time I noticed it but I've just um I'm going to attach my little cheesecloth down a little bit. And I'll probably end up cutting just a little bit of that off. Or, oh yeah, maybe I should have just done that. Just kind of rolled it over. I mm, wished I had like a little word that said vintage. I would kind of put that there, I think. I may have to see if I can find a little, a little word of some sort. I really like the way that's looking. Okay, yeah, instead of cutting it, I'm just going to kind of roll that cheesecloth a little bit. I can get it done on the side here. It's not stuck at all. Okay, so I like that. Oh, you know what would be good? Ha, what if I got one of those butterflies? that I have pulled off. This is a really pretty colored one. That would be really kind of pretty maybe right there. Or right there or there. Okay ladies, I'm having a little technical difficulty here. My, my uh, camera has shut off again so I'm not sure where it shut off at so I'm just gonna keep uh, keep going on here. I think I've got the problem fixed, hopefully. But I'm just kind of cutting around this little butterfly here. Because I'm thinking I'm going to add it. I think I'm going to add it right there. I think it just adds a little bit of color. I think I want it going this way since the bird is going that way. I kind of want it to go a little different way. And it'll just give it a little pop of color. But these were just the cutest little um, butterflies at the Dollar Tree. So, um, anyway, an inexpensive way to, to uh, have a few of these little um, acetate butterflies. Okay, so there's, there it is. I love this. And this will just make a nice little thing to set on the... Um, um, the table or the counter there and uh, whoops keep some notes in so get my 
little. All right. So there anyway, there's that. I just think that's adorable. And these images here are also from Artie Mays. I uh, just bought them because I knew I was going to need a few images and I wanted something different than what I always use. And I seen she had them and I just went ahead and got them while I was there. Sometimes it just gets old using the same images over and over so I kind of like to kind of like to, to just mix it up a little bit. So anyway, a nice little cute um, project. All right, there is that. And then um, I want to, let's see here, here we go. I want to do this little, this is one of those garment tags. And I want to, uh, this is another little Artie Maze image. This I've just cut out of that kit from Artie Maze as well. And I'm going to use one of these. Now these were the little box of tags that came out of the, um, the uh, subscription box. There was a box of them and there was all different uh, shapes in there and different uh, images. But I want to go ahead and I'm going to ink this up a bit. I didn't do that. I had been trying to go ahead and have stuff inked up and whatnot, but I didn't. Well, I actually just got these tags and I was going to use an alterations tag. And so I wanted to hurry and spritz this with a little a little tea so I could use a, this tag instead of the alterations tags. Just because it was new. You know how it is. You get new stuff in and you want to, you just want to play with it a little. Okay, so I'm going to just make this little tag here. What I thought I would do is I want the pink showing because this little lady here has a little pink in her in her dress. So I thought that would be fun to just kind of I'm not going to overdo this tag. I just want it I just want it a little dressed up I may want that to go. I want the dream flower to show. So I'm trying not to cover that over. And I'm thinking that I just want this butterfly. I either want to go up here with it and have that little butterfly down here somewhere. Or I want to come down with it and then get my butterfly kind of up here. I know three pieces, you wouldn't think you'd have that hard of a time deciding how you want it, would you? It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I believe I'm going to go like that, though. I think I just like, I think I just like the way that proportions. Okay, so I think I'm going to use a little lighter cheesecloth on this. I may already have a piece I can use without having to cut. All right. Okay. Yeah, it just gives it a little bit of a little bit of something there. That cheesecloth just adds a little bit of. All right, but I am going to take and I'm going to sew that butterfly like I like to do. I am going to do that. Okay, let's get this go ahead and stuck down because I know that's where I want it. Okay, so let me get that butterfly sewed real quick and we'll have this tag done. We will have this tag done. Get 
just a little bit off that. All right. All right, so I'm going to sew that butterfly real quick. Okay, so I got the butterfly sewed. I just like to add that little bit of, to look like it's little antennas. I don't know. I've just always done that, and I just really like the way that it adds to the to the image so all right so let's get it stuck down and this is going to be done these are really super quick super easy projects i tell you though after uh, it seems like i've done so many journals just lately that once you do a whole or well, for me once I've done a whole lot of journals like that in a row, I'm just ready to just kind of do something pretty easy and simple and not too time consuming. I am working on another project though. I think I said that. And, and uh, yeah, because I was going to give you a sneak peek and I, I still, I'll, I'll try to do that. It's a really fun <laughs> project. I actually was inspired by something I seen at Walmart. That made me think about it. It was they had some purses setting out in on the end of an aisle as I was walking down to go to like the copy paper and stuff. And um, I seen it and I thought, oh, wouldn't that make a cute holder for a uh, journal? Of course, I mine doesn't look like the one at Walmart, but um, it was inspired by it. So. I think I may want to take this string out and replace it with maybe, would this be the right color pink? Oh, I think it is. Let's use a little pink on that. Yeah. Let's just use a little pink. I don't know if I want to tie it like that or if I want to just leave it as a knot or even sew across it like so uh, this here came out of something I can't remember it was either gifted or if, or it was in an order that I had placed or something I, I can't remember now something like that yeah I think well you know what I think I might do is just staple it I think it might look just as good stapled. Yeah, just staple it on there. Now, see, isn't that cute? I love that. I love the pinks. So, yeah. That's, that's pretty fun. All right. So there's our little tag. Oh, you know what, though? I think I want to add to this before I'm not done with it yet. I wanted to add... This stuff in here is super delicate. I mean super delicate. Look at that purple. It's beautiful. But they are very, very delicate. Uh, you have to be easy with them. I thought I might want to put that like there. Wouldn't that just add to that? I'm just going to just have to add the glue and just really carefully get it placed on there. And yeah, I really like that. I love that dried stuff. If I had another piece in that, I would have loved to have just brought it down another little. But there's not another... I have this orange, but I don't have, um, because I was thinking that would be really cute if I had another color. Awesome. Well, maybe I do want that purple maybe back down here. I think it needs another little something right there. I think I'm just going to go with the purple. I think I'm going to do that, but I'm really going to glob the glue. Because like I said, it dries clear anyway. That glue there you can't see once it dries. And I definitely want that glue all over that dried flower. So that it does not fall off. 
I'm going to add a little more right there. Yes, I like that. So there, there we go. I love the purple. And when that glue dries, you won't see that glue. So that's pretty neat. Love, love, love that. All right. So I'm going to clip my little thread there, my little black thread. All right. So there's our little tag. I like that. All right. Okay. So the next thing, these are really, really easy. What I have here is just super easy. Now, I have these little seed packets. I actually bought these. They have a little, um, whoops, on the back side, they have a little um, strip on them where you can actually fold those over. Um, but they're supposed to be seed packets. Now, these here I actually ordered from, like, the Pumpkin, the pumpkin Paper Company. And they were out of the UK, so they were a little pricey to get them. But I couldn't find them anywhere. I couldn't find them anywhere in the States. And so I went ahead and I ordered these some time back. I haven't used them, but I did order them some time back. And uh, they're just as super cute as they can be. Uh, but if somebody knows where you can get these... Um, and, and you may... Well, I take that back. You may be able to get some on Etsy. I'm not sure. But it was cheaper just to order them from the UK for the quantity... I believe than if I bought them from an Etsy shop uh, in the States. But to buy them in bulk in the States, I could not find them. So, anyway, otherwise I would have had these in the shop, but I could not find them. Okay. So, what I wanted to do, these, like I said, these are going to be pretty simple, this project is. And I'm just going to put a little glue. I'm going to do two of them kind of alike here. I've just got this little bit of fabric that I'm going to put on the front like that and then I've got these here these um, uh, little pieces here that came out of the uh, I stained these up but these were attached to the bottom just like that and I they're perforated and I tore them apart so I'm going to, I've got one stitched, one not stitched. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these up. I thought these were really cute. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and get it glued up. I've got them just, this is just some like stained, um, it's not really a muslin fabric. I'm not sure what kind of fabric it is, but I just took and tea stained it. So what I thought would be fun is, and these are just basically simple, simple, simple little things. And what I thought I'd do, because, you know, if you wanted to put seeds in that for like your journal... If you're just doing like a botanical themed, spring themed journal, then you could put the little label on the back and write what's on there. That, that's what I was kind of thinking. That's where my thinking was going on these. And just um, have this stuck to the back. Which I thought was fun. And then you could label what, what they are. And they'd just be cute little seed packets. That's what I was thinking right there. So. And then also I had this clear sticker. Which I'm doing some ATC cards. And I'm thinking that. I would like to have a few of these for those ATC cards. Uh, but I also thought that these would be fun if even after you sealed it, if you had your little seed pack, uh, seeds put in there, whatever you wanted to put in there, if you just took one of these little 
because these are just translucent oops these are just little translucent um, stickers if you just even wanted to shut one of your little bags shut um, just for like a double closure wouldn't that be fun these are so pretty but uh, I am going to uh, I think use some of them on an ATC card that I'm working on so um, I always have tons of projects going at once I'm just for some reason I don't ever seem to finish one project before I move on to another I think that right now I have one two I have two projects counting this one was three I think I have three going right now um, that I'm oh, I got four I take that back I got four projects going right now so I just I don't know I just can't seem to do one project get it done and then start another before I'm just into several projects at once so just seems to be the way it works for me so here are some of these little vellum botanical printed pieces and I thought on this one here, because it's just so transparent, I thought I would just put that on the front um, or either take this one. I think there was like a blue butterfly. Oh, but there's a brown butterfly. I'd have to cut this one down. I didn't cut it down. So I may just, I'll just go ahead and use this one. But I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on on this. I think this one is the brighter side. Is that the brighter side? Yes. So I'm going to just use a little fabric tack and I'm not going to douse it in a lot of glue and I'm not sure if that fabric tack shines through or not. I can't remember on these if they do so we're just gonna place it on there oh it's going to do okay the fabric tech's not going to shine too bad okay and it just really looks like it's just already on the uh, the glassine bag you don't really see it not being its original front and then I'm going to take one of these little stickers here I got so much glue on my hands. I'm gonna take this little little butterfly. Let's grab this and put it on there. And let's see. Let me see how that butterfly should go. I thought he'd just be cute. And then they do have these little little blue butterflies that are cute too. If we even wanted to put a little blue butterfly. There's a little tiny one right here I'm trying to trying to get. Just uh, just add a little fun element to it. So isn't that cute? So simple but so cute. You know, and then you could always, like I said, just use one of the stickers to close this shut. Uh, put your label there if you wanted to or not. But anyway, guys, these were just super easy and super fun. And they're just so decorative for the journals. I love this. So decorative. So anyway, there's a couple of little projects that are fun. Quick, quick, quick and easy. Okay, so then I had this last, this is the last little the last little one and here's another one of these labels this was just one in a different a different size different shape and I backed it in some of that um, crinkly paper I have so been loving that lately I just haven't got enough of it yet to be tired of using it so I'm still using it in my in my projects Okay, so I'm going to ink this up a little bit. Now this here was made with this paper here that came in the pack. This like little handmade paper. Um, and all I did was just spray it with a little bit of coffee dye or, or tea dye. So 
so and then I just made a little envelope out of it is what I did well, you could put a little put a little tag or or note on the inside and attach it in the journal and then I am just going to do that is all I'm going to do and it will make a nice little um, pocket for my journal I think I'm gonna have to I lost my pen I have uh, moved too much stuff around I was gonna use that glue on this but okay so what I want to do and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here because I want it stuck especially right there on the edge I'm gonna have to add a little something underneath here so that it doesn't uh, seep through there we are now that is just a nice little um, a nice little pocket for your journal how cute is that all right, guys, so I think that's just going to be the project for the... Oh, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Yes. So, here is a sneak peek of the, of the Walmart-inspired uh, <laughs> piece. This is a little purse that I'm making uh, that the journal goes in, and here is where I've started my journal. But uh, the journal can slip in the, uh, the little purse. How cute, how cute, how cute is that? Um, uh, so anyway, that just by going down the Walmart aisle, I, uh, kind of just got inspired to do this here. I have sewed the little handles, um, deco I did use, uh, Maj Paj. Now, I haven't used Maj Paj on the paper here, but I did use Maj Paj on my, uh, textured cardstock. And these little things will just expand on the side, so if the journal gets bigger, um, it has plenty of room to expand. So, anyway, that's just a little sneak peek there of, of another project I'm, I'm working on. So, anyway, have a great day, guys, and a great weekend, and I will catch you in the next video.